What's going on guys? We want to start a new series today. It's called uh, Coffee with Collectible. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk in, we're going to show you the dealership, and we're going to show you some new cars that we have in stock. So go ahead and grab your cup of coffee and join me. All right, guys, so this is the main office area here. We have a lot of art here that's on display. This is all under consignment. So all the artwork in the showroom is for sale. We have our office manager's office over here that handles all our title paperwork. If we walk down through here to the main offices, this is where me and Justin work. We are here six days a week, so we can take all your phone calls. We can handle all the shipping, financing, and everything that you need to get these collectible cars to your driveway. Let's go ahead and take a look at the cafe. Got a really cool little chill spot back here that we have where, you know, when the wives come in or if the kids are here and they don't want to go out and look at cars, they can sit on the couch here and mess around on their phones or they can watch YouTube, Netflix, anything on the TV here. Once again, all the artwork in here is for sale, um, including the really cool camshaft uh, lamp here on the table. This is a really cool piece. It's probably one of my favorite pieces, it's actually a camshaft, crank pulley, and an air breather. Super cool. It is functional. We'll edit that out. As we step out here, we have our beautiful showroom. So one thing here with Collectible that really sets us apart is we do have a mechanic on staff um, and he's actually very, very good. As some of you may know that to find a quality mechanic that can work on these old cars is definitely hard to find. And in my opinion, I have one of the best in the business. He is young, but he's a prodigy. Um, we do have a set of tools over here. We've got anything from impacts to Anything you need, socket sets, we can literally do transmission swaps if we have to here. We try to avoid doing any major mechanical work like that, and very rarely do we have to do stuff like that. Mainly it's usually, you know, brake stuff, carburetors, fluid changes, stuff like that, basic stuff, but we definitely want to make sure that our product is top notch when you get it. Actually, speaking of, Carson's actually about to bleed the brakes on this beautiful 65 Corvette. Um, one of the calipers was leaking, so we went ahead and put uh, a new caliper on there and he's gonna go ahead and bleed the system got a phone call here just give me one second oh it was for Kimberly um, but we'll go ahead and work our way over here this is kind of what we call our resto mod section so anything that's gonna be either fuel injected modern wheels um, anything that classifies it as a resto mod it will be in this section um, minus the Camaro we were actually putting a new carburetor on it and it was just easy to put it right here to work on but we'll go ahead and show you a few got a really nice 71 C10 here Go ahead and move the tool cart here. I'll move this real quick over to Carson. Go ahead and show him that truck, Justin. Show him that beautiful 5.3 liter V8 in there. Really love the engine cover on this truck. It's painted to match the truck. Um, it really, really makes this truck look cool. It kind of hides the coils and um, hides that big truck intake and just gives it a really custom look. You got aluminum radiator, long tube headers. And this truck's actually been a rotisserie, so all underneath is painted blue. Super nice truck. This is probably by far one of my favorite C10s we have here. We've got two beautiful square bodies here. This is an 87, so it's the last year. It's fuel injected. It's got a 700 R4 transmission in it. Beautiful. We just got it back from paint correction. So paint correction means a lot of people think when you say paint correction, it got painted. It's not necessarily what that means. Paint correction just means it's a very advanced detail. So they'll actually cut and buff and spend hours on this thing to make the paint look beautiful. And if Justin can walk up, you can see there's literally no swirls, no nothing in this paint. Um, very minimum swirls. You can't get all of it out unless you really like wet sand the crap out of it. But overall, it's a very beautiful truck with really good paint. Same goes for the uh, beautiful uh, 86. This one's got a 350 in it, carbureted still. It's got an Elderbrock carburetor, custom interior. This truck's actually a frame up restoration done on it, LED headlights. All the bulbs and the tail lights are LED. Just a really, really cool truck, and it definitely has a cool look to it. We'll work our way over into, typically this room here is where we keep like our really high-end, nice stuff. The 65 Corvette was pulled in here. We pulled it out to bleed the brakes. We also had a 70 Chevelle in there that was in the way. We parked back here in the back. We've got a really nice 1956 Chevrolet 3100, guys, and this truck is really, really nice. I purchased this truck from a local gentleman here in Atlanta. This truck has literally had no expense spared on it. Full custom suspension, chassis, four length in the rear, 12 bolt rear end. 
It's got the Holley Sniper on it. It's a board and stroke 454 to 496 cubic inch. Um, this thing is definitely, definitely nasty. You've got the billet hinges here. Overall, everything on this truck is just super nice. Paint and body is really good on it. Interior is custom. Just really cool truck. We'll work our way over here to the Corvette aisle. We've got so many Corvettes that we actually have a Corvette aisle. Uh, I've got a really beautiful 62 Corvette here. This one's actually already sold. Justin sold this beautiful car. It's fuel injected. It's technically a resto mod, but we stuck it over here in our uh, resto mod section. Got a really nice, really, really, really nice ZR1 Corvette. It's a 2010. It's got 1,900 miles on it. And this baby would be parked in my garage if my wife would let me. But that's a whole nother discussion. Got a beautiful 1980 Corvette here. This one's got the uh, EFI system on it as well. Four speed manual. It actually went through a full restoration a couple years back and it's just a beautiful car. I can't believe this one hasn't sold. Got a few other Corvettes here. Got a low mileage Trans Am, a few other things. As you see the car sitting here, this is our sold aisle. So typically what we do is when they sell, we bring them over here, we park them and they go on trickle chargers. So all the cars get put on trickle chargers before they leave. We do test the batteries when they come in to make sure they're good, but just as an extra precaution, they do go on trickle chargers before they leave. We sit them there, because usually shipping, once it's fully paid, it usually takes two to three days for the shipper to get here, so we do put them on trickle chargers. Um, this is our truck aisle here. As you can tell, all the trucks go here, anywhere from two-wheel drives to four-wheel drives. All the trucks go here. Um, here in Atlanta, we do get a lot of trucks. The South is famous for trucks, and trucks are super hot right now. Um, this is our European aisle, so anything from German to British cars, they're all parked right here. Uh, this one actually just sold, it actually needs to be moved over to the sold aisle. Beautiful TR6 here, believed to be 2,000 original miles. So here at Collectible, everything we have is either going to be really unique as far as the history on it, or it's just going to be really clean because it's been restored, or uh, one owners. We really look for stuff that's special in its own way. Uh, for instance, like this Volkswagen, this Volkswagen we took on trade. The gentleman that we traded had owned this car for 20 years. He'd put a new engine in it. He had had it painted. It's got brand new interior in it. Really, really nice car. We've got this Mini here. This is actually a pretty rare car. Not a ton of these driving around. Super cool though. And then as we go over here, we just kind of have, you know, this is like our overflow. It's gonna be a little bit of everything that's gonna be parked over here on this back aisle. We try to keep it somewhat organized for our customers. Go ahead and introduce you to Carson. He's over here tinkering with the uh, brakes on this beautiful 65 Corvette. Uh, like I said, Carson's our prodigy mechanic here. He's, he can do it all. He, he pretends that he can't because most of the time he doesn't want to do the stuff we want him to do, but <laughs> he's very good at what he does. He's very professional, very good at what he does, does very quality work. And like I said, that's very hard to find in this day and time. So we're very blessed. We'll step over to this beautiful, very beautiful OBS truck. Man, this thing, super nice. This is actually my personal truck. Uh, Carson's actually helped me do a few things on this as well. Me and him get in the garage. He does most of the work. I just kind of stand back and hand him tools. But, you know, we've done quite a bit to this. It's LS swap. It's got a fully built LQ9 in it. It's built for boost, all forged internals. It's got some weld wheels on it. It's lowered in a, uh, it's a uh, six, six, seven drop. So it's six inches in the front, seven in the rear. It's a Beltec kit. Overall, super nice truck. My brother actually does paint and body. I had him repaint the bed, the bumper and the grill, paint matched all that. And uh, this truck definitely has a really cool and unique look and it has a really good sound to it as well. But we also have our Mustang aisle back here on the back. We've got two Terminator Mustangs right now, which those are really going crazy right now. We've got this beautiful 2004 white one here. It's got some real tasteful modifications done to it. I don't see that one lasting really long. Super nice car. We've got this convertible Cobra here. It's an 04 as well. It's got some pretty cool flames on it. Um, overall, a very clean car. It's around 60,000 miles, clean Carfax. Now, this Fox body here is super nice. This is an 83 GT Fox body Mustang. It's had a new paint job done on it. The owner that owns this car has done a killer job restoring it. It's, he's kept it mostly original, but definitely a really nice one. Can't believe that one's still here. It's actually a five-speed manual. 
as well. We just got this beautiful 65 Mustang in. Super clean, unique orange color. Looks orange in these lights, but when you pull it outside, it's a little lighter. It kind of messes with your eyes a little bit, but it's actually a really, really clean car. We've got another Cobra here. This is a 96 Cobra. This one's actually pretty low miles. I believe it's 20,000 miles. 29,000 miles, but all original, super clean car. Interior looks brand new. It still smells new inside. Now I'll save the best for last. This is a very, very nice 1997 Mustang Cobra with a first gen Coyote swapped in it. It's got tons of suspension modification, custom wheels. It's got Corbo racing seats in it. Just this right here is one bad car. It runs, runs really, really good and it looks really good. I really love the seats in there. They definitely hold you in tight when you're taking the turns. This car has been done very well. The paint's very nice on it. And this is a real Cobra. But guys, with that being said, we don't want to, we wanted to try to keep this video somewhat short. I kind of been rambling on here, but this is going to be something we're going to do on a regular basis. We haven't worked out the details on what day this video is going to be coming out. It'll probably be somewhere around Thursday or Friday. We'll come out every week and we'll do a quick little tour around the showroom, show you guys new inventory that's coming out. And, uh, we hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any uh, suggestions, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section for us. And if you like this video, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Have a good one.